The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Inch by inch, the antagonizing nightmare of Dozier's past is creeping closer to the surface. A bittersweet reminder of Florida's troubled history. It's really amazing to be able to put sort of a face to this list of individuals, these children we've been you know, researching about, thinking about, meeting their family. A team of researchers have been digging since Saturday. On Sunday evening, teeth and skull fragments were discovered in a grave being unearthed. Monday, the careful dig for answers continues. As the exhumant of bodies continue, family members are providing DNA to researchers to figure out who is buried at the closed school. The 31 crosses dot the gravesite south of where the excavating is taking place. The chilling part, around 100 students are thought to be buried on the school grounds. A lack of state records make it difficult for researchers to locate all of the bodies. When we initially came up here and started, that is an area that would have been under thick woods. Questions started to surface in 2008 as abuse allegations made it to then Governor Charlie Crist. An investigation he requested showed there were at least 31 bodies unaccounted for in the cemetery. Researchers are now working to put those additional missing links together. It's a very meticulous work. Uh, I, I don't think the public knows exactly how hard work it is, but I got the blisters to show you that it's, it's very hard work. As the process continues, the shell of Dozier is all that remains intact outside of Mariana. As the chilling history is starting to rear its ugly head one inch at a time. In Tallahassee, I'm Matt Horn reporting.